It's like now. Good evening and welcome to Adventures in DeFi Kingdoms. This is Raf streaming to you live high about the keep in the hot air balloon. Tonight, as always, I have my partner in crime, Nindorf. How you doing? Ah, uh, hanging in there, I guess is what I'll call it today. Yeah, well, let's just go ahead and kick it off with your uh, question of the day. Yeah, so obviously you'd say there was a bit of a dip today. So the question of the day <laughs> is, did you did you buy the dip? What'd you buy? Um, I I am it. I am buying the dip. I I would say you know I I didn't buy much actually today. I'm a little illiquid at the moment. I bought a lot yesterday. Um, got a Gen Zero on my hand, so uh, that that was Very my nice. my dip buy, and I'm planning on probably taking all the rest of the reserves, and uh, you know throwing those in too. I'm I'm really kind of uh, throwing caution to the wind at the moment, and and buying the dip. How about you? Yeah, time to YOLO, right? So, right. <laughs> so I, you know, I made the mistake before of. Uh, withdrawing the the you know the profit i had taken from the game back to binance and then i you know i say that's a mistake because then as soon as i did that they turned off one withdrawal so i'm like oh i couldn't go back into the game so i just bought some some coins in binance itself temporarily um man avax was sure on sale today so i picked up some avax i did buy more one because also that was super cheap yeah um uh, yeah, I don't know. I spread it around a little bit. I grabbed an ETH too. So I, I was all over the place. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we might be in the long haul too. So, I, you know, we kind of imagined this was happening when we were looking at the uh, the macroeconomic environment. Um, even with that said, though, these things certainly they still hurt <laughs> when they oh, when they blow up in your face. So, um, you know, I guess. Uh, you know, I, th- I think it's also a good shine time to uh, do uh, you know mental health check in. What are you doing to kind of keep yourself on point? Um, you know, this is a a frustrating and exhausting process every time, and stressful too, um, especially if you got a lot on the line. So, what are you doing to kind of keep yourself um, mentally healthy and and sharp? Well, yeah. So normally, you know, I'd say you know go out get some fresh air, but you know, here in the Midwest, boy, it's a bit of a heat wave. We're we had some crazy heat for this time of year. So that isn't the greatest approach. Uh, but, you know, honestly, it, it's for me, it's really easy. Uh, I have a, I have the site and, you know, we've got work to do. You guys probably maybe if anybody is on Discord, I just pushed out some changes again. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I can kind of bury myself behind the code in a way and I, and I'm, I can blow right through it. How about yourself? Yeah, you know, I, I would say, yeah, definitely spending some time outside. It, it's funny, the weather here, you know, obviously we live in the same town, if our listeners haven't figured that one out yet. Um, but it's funny that it went from, like, winter to summer in a matter of, like, uh, 10 days. Um, yes. And so, but, it, you know, we're still enjoying the time outside, uh, spending time with with the wife and the kids. I, I, I think the... The piece that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of keeping my mind on is that, um, you know, in, you know, I, I will say that, you know, I, I, I'm I fortunate in that I, I made a couple kind of security plays about a month ago where I did pull some money out and I did put that towards some paying off some real life loans. And so... You know, and I, I did that with kind of the knowledge that or the, the guess that either things, you know, even if things went up, I'd still be happy doing that. And if things went down, I'd be really happy doing that. Um, and so, you know, I don't, I don't want to I'm definitely not trying to say a, it's a I told you so moment or anything like that. But a lot more of a I, I think every time, you know, that you have a moment to to take some profits in the world, I you know, as as we were talking the other day, you had a, a new coworker asking about the game, and um, you know, they said, "Well, who are the winners and who are the losers?" And um, also, I, I think that just kind of 
mentally prepared me for, you know, there's there's going to be a dip coming at some point. Um, you know, we, we kind of read the, the macroeconomic tea leaves, so to speak. Um, and, you know, I, so I, I, I do have that, uh, you know, kind of a little bit insulating me from, I would say, uh, the, the shock of this happening. Um, but then, you know, yesterday I, I YOLO'd in um, and then seeing everything kind of plummet in value is certainly a little frightening as well. Um, but as I, I think we've both done a good job of, you know, this isn't this hasn't become our primary focus. And so we still have other things that we're working on. And I really like your point that, you know, you're able to still bury yourself in the code, which is a tangential project to DeFi kingdoms um, and something that's, you know, providing you both mental stimulus and uh, education as you've described it in the past. And so it, it keeps you kind of invigorated and going. I don't know. I rambled along uh, around. No, that's good. I think you're absolutely right. I mean, it's, you know, and that's just my example, right? Everybody's got their hobby or the thing, you know, maybe it's a good book or whatnot, you know, all those sorts of avenues at this point, you know, and I'll, you know, I'll give a shout out to Tosh. He had that video not too long ago. I think it's just as appropriate now. And it was about oh, you know, yeah. things you can do. Like, I almost want to post that in our chat again, because it's like that, is, that is exactly what we need. And it is kind of funny. I, uh, I had sent that to one of my coworkers who, uh, he was kind of got in, with crypto with me a little bit a couple of years ago and then he got out because he had some sour some sour plays on that previous crash mm -hmm. and he's like man where was this video two years ago and i was like yeah it, it hit the nail on the head so i think that's another thing that you can use or listen to and it, it's it's great you know it kind of walks through all those little steps so yeah yeah we'll uh we'll definitely post that in in discord again uh big shout out to tosh uh awesome guy um so go support his stuff. And, you know, I the other thing that I would say kind of in a, a, a lighthearted comment, um, and I actually I don't listen to country music often, but, you know, uh, one of my favorite lighthearted songs is uh, Fix a Drink by Chris Jansen. And uh, he, he says, you know, um, the, the world's in the toilet, the market's in the tank. I can't fix that, but I can fix a drink. Um, <laughs> And uh, so uh, tonight I'm I'm chilling with a, a nice ice cold uh, uh, vodka with ice and water. So um, oh nice, <laughs> hanging in there with that. Are you drinking anything special? Uh, you know I'm a I'm a I'm a rum kind of guy, and I don't know for whatever reason the cream soda Dr Pepper with the rum has just been hitting the spot lately. I don't know what it is. There you go. Nice, nice. All right. Well, um, we're as as you know I kind of forewarned earlier we're going to be just rambling around a bit here today so uh great question of the day on on buying the dip and go ahead and shout that out in discord or on the youtube chat as well love to know what what other people are buying um you know i, I think there's a i think there's a great opportunity here um i i absolutely believe in the long term of crypto i think a lot of people have likened what's going on now to a bit of the um you know, the dot com bubble burst. And I, I think there could be some consolidation of coins um, that that comes up or consolidation of, of projects. Um, so, you know, certainly and this is our, you know, all, as always, not financial advice, but, you know, be mindful uh, and stay diversified uh, if you can. And so, you know, I, I, I like your strategy of getting both, uh, you know, some harmony and some avalanche and in a in a nice way, they they support the project um and also are differentiated enough that you know it, it kind of insulates and, and protects you a bit there so good call by you yeah absolutely all right so um we, it's been a while since we've done a podcast and there's been a few uh patches uh that came out recently there was a patch on monday which was uh the re-rolling of gen zeros uh Sarandale gen zeros and and then there was a patch here tonight that just came out, and I have up on the screen our our stone carver friend here. Um, and in the AMA notes uh, that we got this week, we heard that um, you know pets are still on the horizon. They are soon. I think the order, if I'm recalling uh, correctly, here is pets, and then uh, level ten profession quests, um, and then duels. And I I would actually kind of expect that to happen. 
really in the next two months. I would say by midsummer, I think they're going to be in full swing. Um, I'll, you know, not trying to be, you know, doomsday. I think there's enough of that already. But if they are not in full swing by the start of July, I know you and I have talked about this. If duels are not out by then, I think that is a, a very ominous sign towards the project, which I have otherwise been. I, I call it, you know, uh, DeFi Kingdoms bullish, jewel bearish. And, you know, I, I describe that as, you know, I really believe in the long term of the game. The macro environment is just wrecking all altcoins and tokens and things like that. So um, kind of give the listeners your your thoughts on, let's first go to, you know, why is July an important date to you? And then, um, you know, maybe any comments that you have on the upcoming uh, releases or any of the, the current, uh, well, let's do that first and then we'll jump at the Gen Zero rerolls after that. Sure. Yeah, so... Yeah, a lot, a lot of topics. I, I love it. Uh, well, you know, we'll start with the the roadmap. I think, like you said, you know, I, I, having pets come out is really great. I mean, you know, we've all been kind of curious and wondering what these eggs are. We're really excited, I think, to see what these bonuses that these pets are going to provide are. And I, I like that he, uh, I think it was, I can't remember who it was, if it was Hubert or who it was, but he kind of docked through the, you know, there's kind of the three possibilities that the pets are going to provide, you know, profession bonuses, um, combat bonuses and i think it was pvp bonuses perhaps if mm-hmm. i'm remembering what the third one was yeah like that was actually really good news to me and i think that kind of added some some data to those little symbols across the bottom of the pet cards that we've you know been teased out on us so you know we can kind of start to get our mindset around you know what's the utility value of these pets going to be and i think that's important because if you keep in mind you know what are eggs eggs trade at like what 30 jewel something like that that's a that's the cost of a hero at this point, you know, almost. So yeah. they better have some pretty solid value, or that price can't maintain. Mm-hmm. So I'm very excited to kind of see how you know the utility value of these pets is. Is it is it a gardening? You know, do you get like an extra tenth of a jewel, or do you get uh, you know what I'm trying to say? Like the, yeah. what these bonuses are are going to be huge. And- I think they will hold some value, at least in the short term, because of the whole supply and demand aspects where, you oh, know, sure. heroes, you can you can pump those out. There's a, a known mechanism. Um, while the, the Gaia's blessing event or, you know, Easter egg hunt, whatever you want to call it, uh, kind of came and went, I don't expect, um, you know, eggs to... Uh, you know, suddenly increase in drop value so, or in drop uh, likelihood. So I, I think that that will help them maintain their value. Sorry, interrupted. No, that's that's great. Um, and, you know, I, I think you're right. And I've, you know, I've had some not as lucky streaks, but for whatever reason, eggs, eggs are just my thing, apparently. I, I seem to look at my inventory and find more. And I'm, I'm almost wondering if people are sending them to me because... <laughs> You know, like a lot of times I'll complete those quests and it's I don't get me. the pop up as what I got. Yeah, and so I, I don't know what I got. And now that you know, uh, Kingdom Watch, the new quests don't necessarily parse out right in Kingdom Watch yet. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, I don't really know what I got. You know, well, and it's I really funny. actually do love the new interface for active quests, where you can click yes. through complete. Like that is oh my gosh. a huge time saver. Um, and when oh, you blitz through a bunch of quests, like they start stacking up and the windows pile up on themselves. And, uh, yeah, I, I know I bought a couple eggs, but I think I'm sitting on more than I thought I had too. Uh, like I just looked right now, how many somehow I have two yellows now. I don't know where oh, the no. second yellow came from. I got a second yellow actually today. I did notice that one. Yeah. Like that was the rarest one for me based other than the gold, which, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. sitting on the gold. I, I'm not going to buy it yet. But, right. uh, but well, that's uh, so what's your what's your count up to now? Uh, twenty three. Oh, oh, I'm at twenty three eggs. You I'm, got ten more than me. Dude, I mean, I'm I mean, I'm I'm quest. That's true too. I guess you're questing a fair amount of heroes, aren't you? Yeah, thirty one now. Yeah, I think I'm at twenty nine. And again, you know, our buddy Walton has still lent us a couple of his heroes. Yeah, uh, as he's doing real life things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, I I should probably get back to the point. Patch notes. I got Anything on patch notes? 
Yeah, so, I mean, even back still roadmap, right? I think, you know, we had a pretty interesting conversation. I think it's worth rehashing a little oh, bit Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. July. Why is, why is July important? Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, first. so, you know, we're, we're really loving this environment and this, this game world that they're building. And there's so much good content here that you, I, mean, I like to see that these scrolls come out. That, that makes me think that there's the lore and you know, it's all tied in. It's really reminiscent of some of those early RPGs, especially with the, the graphics, of course. But uh, what what I'm I would get a little nervous on is, you know, pets are great and all, and I'm super excited, especially with all these eggs. But at some point, you kind of got to ask yourself the question: you know, would we rather see game development primary front and center, or some of these you know ancillary features? And I would kind of throw pets in more of that ancillary feature where it's a nice, you know, additive layer. But, like, if there's not a legitimate, solid gameplay element here that can keep me in the game interface for more than five minutes to hit the start and stop buttons, and you start to see that jewel unlocking, which is kind of my point, and that's that magic date, you know, towards the end of summer, I think it's going to be harder to keep people in this environment. I'm, I'm a little nervous about that, and I think they need to have legitimate gameplay uh, before that jewel starts auto unlocking. I think because it's going to be a lot. You know, you can pull honestly not very much with miners out of your locked balance. It, it's a it's a slog. You know, you got to work at it a long time. And the way that those auto unlocks are going to happen, it seems like you're going to get a pretty decent bump every week. So that's. That's kind of where I'm at. You know, I'd kind of love to see some renewed focus almost in the dev team. Like, let's get, let's get actual gameplay launched. So yeah. I don't know. You got anything to add? That's that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I I think a uh, bit of an echo chamber here. We very much share the same thoughts. I I think um, the next two months is going to be critical. And as I as I've and we've talked about before, uh, mentioned it's combat is you know the economic engine of the future of the game and so without you know a combat system in place i think the the game you know it, it's just really built on speculative utility um because the the combat is what you are going to pay to want to play um and if you right. don't have that you know your your garden rewards have to dry up at some point in time. I think this goes back to there's got to be winners and there's got to be losers um, in order for the marketplace to function effectively. I mean, that's just the short of it. So um, unless there's a combat system where people are actually willing to play because no matter what, they have fun and enjoy the game, whether they're winning or losing, I, I think uh, that that is really the economic engine that's going to drive all of this. So um that's why i think we have you know july set because right now i think it's august is when that jewel starts to unlock and so if it's not there by july that's when i start to get nervous and start thinking like do i need to start unloading my heroes because well and who knows what the macroeconomic uh you know world will look like at that point you know we might right. still be in the toilet um yeah that that's a good point and i think you know i I mean, I like, you know, not financial advice, of course, but I like to, you know, me personally, I, I think that, you know, normally October is a rough month, uh, and I think that could continue. I think once you get past that and you start to get into the late fall, I think we're going to have something turn in here. Uh, you know, there's some political reasons behind that, I think, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. But basically... I, I kind of expect it to be more or less of a rough summer. And, you know, that's just my hypothesis. Yeah. And so, you know, if the team's motto, the dev team's motto is build, 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 like now's the time for them to shine. You know, let's, let's see this stuff yeah. come out and they can say, they can save, they can save it. I mean, not that it's, you know, yeah. needs saving necessarily. And, and I think but, the game can operate, you know, with, a low value of coins at this point in in fact it may actually accelerate growth if you know um we have uh ios code uh who just wrote in on youtube you know buying 600 jewel for 500 felt pretty awesome today i agree um, no kidding 
you know, I, I, I think that the opportunity uh, to play the game, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel great when that cost of entry is so low. Um, and so I, I, I think those, you know, things coupled together, I think a ton of people would, would love to have this kind of escape from reality. And if it doesn't cost a lot to play, I, I think that could really, you know, n- end up helping maintain that economic engine there. That's a great point. Yeah, I, I really like that because if you look at some of the other games, you know, you get compared to Axie a lot. And I remember looking at that and, you know, I don't know what the prices are recently because it's been completely eclipsed from my mind by DFK. But, it, you know, it was, it was back to that same sort of hundreds of dollars per Axie. And, you know, you, the floor price of Heroes is, what, 40 bucks right now or less, 30 bucks. Like, that's you know let's get in if, if there was not a time if there's a listener out there who doesn't have any heroes and they're wanting to you know it, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this yeah yeah i agree with that uh so murka fpv said um he's been questing since launch still no eggs um Oof, pretty sure i'll ouch. never get one um and then also asked how many heroes to eggs i don't know the current hero total uh, off the top of my Ooh. head, do you have? Do you know what that is? I read uh, Mr. Zipper's Hero Watch article today. I think it was the most recent uh, issue, and I believe we reached 192, okay. 190 to one hundred I, I would have guessed one eighty five. So, yeah, that's and it. Then, that sounds right. But you got to subtract out the thirty or whatever it was that died as well on Perilous Journey. So, you know, you're you're sitting at you know, 160 ish thousand somewhere in there. Total yeah. heroes. Yeah. Eggs. I don't know. I'd have to go double check. On we have, yeah. We have not pulled that, that data. It's I definitely there, but we haven't looked at it. Um, I, you know, I'd really be interested also like eggs to wallets. Like what's that ratio as well. And how that compares to heroes to well, wallets, you know, and, and that begs the next question that I've kind of wondered is how many pets do I need? Like, what if, you know, do I just need kind of like a, I am envisioning a corral or I got to go out to the pasture and find a, all right, let's find the gardening pet. Oh, there he is. Got him. Okay. Yeah. You know, and then he goes back out and you, so maybe you need twice as many pets as you do heroes so that you can, you know, put the right shoe on, if you will. Yeah. 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 Could be. Could be. All right. Um, so I, you know, uh, Mirka, also, um, we're going to do an egg giveaway here sh- soon. Um, yeah, that's we're right. We're going to do that. I always forget this. You guys got to keep me honest out there on, on YouTube. Um, you know, we've been having our uh, stat uh, stone giveaway, so thank you, everyone, for the subscribes out there. We've boosted our subscriber count, I think, by, you know, 35 since we initiated that. So Or 34 it was this morning. Um, so really, I'm, I'm really happy with those results. Um, we're a bit of a ways out from hitting our next number. I think it was like 300 subscribers or 250. Um, if we, if, if it was 250, we're already there. Um, but 300 subscribers, we're going to give away some, a, an egg, maybe two. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think what we should, we should do is. Let's say at 300, we'll do an egg giveaway, and that'll kind of we can bridge that gap then between the. There's a couple uh, crystals left to give away, right? Yeah. So yeah, let's let's you know let's get some subscribers out there. We'll we'll get the rest of those crystal give, given away, and then once we get to 300, we'll do the first egg, and and then we'll move on from there. You know, like you've mentioned in the past, you know, we'll do another egg as well, and then we'll get. Uh, we've got those hero summons and giveaways that we want to do too down the road once we get closer to what 500, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we are at yeah. That's that is absolutely correct. Um, we're at two sixty six right now, so forty four. Oh, nice. More subscribers out there, so uh, yeah, go please help us. You know, spam this on Twitter or, you know, even on the on the, uh, you know, main main Discord, and we'll do. I I think we're actually going to do uh, the egg giveaway live. Um, and so sure. for those of you who have definitely been supporting the stream from you know showing up here for for the live events. Uh, you know, right now we got 11 viewers, so uh, that's some, some pretty good odds right there. Um, at, well, 12 now. So, um, <laughs> you know, good odds out there uh, to, to win an egg. So uh, hopefully 
hopefully, uh, you know, Merca, you can, you can win one. Uh, looking forward to that for sure. All right. Um, so let's go to some of the other, any other kind of patch notes. Um, any thoughts you have on either, let's do rerolls last um, yep. and, and talk about that with Gen Zeros. Um, you know, maybe let's dive into uh, getting stoned, as I like to call it. Um, oh, yeah. So we have, uh, if you go visit the portal, for a limited time only, a day and 14 hours and 5 minutes and 10 seconds left, uh, you can craft some enhancement stones. Uh, have you crafted anything yet? I, I haven't. I was really tempted to, though. I, but then I, I looked at my inventory, and I still have quite a few random ones. And since I'm not really doing a whole lot of active summoning, uh, I was like, you know what? I'll maybe just see how this plays out. So I'm I'm just kind of sitting at the moment and yeah. and watching. Well, I think uh, it, the two the next two topics will bleed in together. Um, I grabbed some Gen Zeros, so, you know, my summoning, I anticipate, will be going up. I'm going to be looking for more Lesser Might Stones. Um, and so I, I think I actually probably, I don't know, there's part of me that almost wonders, like, will I summon without it at this point? I don't know if the market is going to value that or not yet. Um, yeah, I would say when I when I yeah. look at Heroes, I did look at that, but... If I were going to buy, I looked at it, I should say. But when I was looking at the prices, I don't know that it was necessarily reflected in the prices. So, yeah, I, I kind of hear you on that one. But what if you strike it, you know, you strike a mythic summon, right? You're going to want to have that boost. Yeah, so it, that, that's a great it, point. It is really like a gambling aspect where, you know, I haven't done the math, but it's going to cost me, I don't know, probably an extra five jewels based on the price of gold right now uh maybe no it might be less than that with all the items combined but anyways it's going to cost between two and five more jewels to add a stone to every summon and yep. you know it, it kind of increases that value on that that upper end like you said you know if you get a legendary mm -hmm. or mythic with that boost um i could see them you know being maybe even like 100 jewel more more profitable um yeah you know if they have that's that. a good point and i'll, I'll uh, take this advantage to give a little plug to our site too because like you can't if you if you look at a hero in the tavern at the moment you can't really tell other than if you have all the stat percentages memorized for all the classes you can't tell what the stone was used or not so you plug that into our site you plug a hero id in, and it'll it'll highlight it for you where the boosts are. So you'll be able to see immediately if a stone was used to boost those stat percentages, those growth percentages. So keep that in mind, listeners, that that tool's out there so you can tell if there's that hidden value out there for you. All right. I'm just going to throw in a number right now. Uh, bring this up on screen. Uh, bad number. Um, this hero has not been leveled up. <laughs> this this is going to be a pretty sucky game if I could do this odds? wrong. Um, yeah, I, I I am guessing wrong. Okay, so believe us, that feature is there. Uh, maybe I'm going to grab uh, a, a a hero that I know now. Um, anyways, um, we'll we'll go through that a little more in, in detail later. Let's just slide into uh, dev dive. We haven't had a chance to really jump into that next. Um, so what's on your radar? You know, you mentioned you accomplished this here recently. Um, what else are you thinking about doing? Um, anything you want to share with the team? Yeah, sure. So yeah, just, I don't know, it was about an hour ago. If even I pushed out the change, you know, you had asked me specifically for this. Uh, and then we'd had some people in the suggestions asking for it as well. Um, so you can you can do uh, green stat gene filters and blue stat gene filters and alerts now. So I, I just you know hot off the press, you know, go check it out. Let me know if you find any issues. I, I tried to test as best I could, but you know sometimes I get a little excited. I just kind of want to get a feature out there too. So sure, uh, there's that absolutely. Uh, the other previous thing I had done, um, and I don't know if you guys let me know if you find it useful, but. Uh, I went ahead and added the stat history to the hero data app. So you you know you plug in. I don't have your screen up, but if you plug in some hero on the hero data page and hit view, 
there's this this bar that goes across the screen with stat history. You click that, and, and what it's going to do is it's going to go find all the level up data that it needs to basically tell you, look, here's the stat growth over time. Um, and it's it, you know it's sort of interesting. I've I'm not exactly fully sure how I'm going to utilize this, and, but what I noticed in my heroes at least, you know the this rare summoner that I've kind of been favoring. I was looking at his stats relative to a rare sage that I have as well. And it was really fascinating to see how three stats on the rare sage had somehow kind of pulled away from all the other stats, whereas on the summoner, only two stats had pulled away. And for whatever reason, visualizing it in a graph, it just seemed to stand out to me more. And it it really made me kind of question which hero I was favoring. So, you know, take a look, everybody, and let me know what you think. Um, trying to think, what's next, right? So, actually... Do you have Discord? Could you pull Discord up? Otherwise, I can just talk to it. Uh, I don't have... Yeah, that's all right. I'll just talk to it. it. Yeah. So in our announcements page, you know, I had in early... At the beginning of the month, we had released a poll, right? So we knocked out the hero leveling stats page. That's what we were just chatting about. The next one that has the most golden eggs on our list here is a page on the site with DFK token price data. And so... That's kind of what I'm thinking, especially now that, you know, they're talking about, you know, constructing these stones, you know, is it, is it buy or build sort of mentality here? Uh, and it's kind of been that way with Stampots for a while. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking that I'm going to move that way next because that was the number two. And, you know, I, I kind of want to follow the wishes of the community here. But um, I do, I would say I do have sort of a rough draft, some code. Um, and in case, you know, our listeners want to find this data, what I... Well, my plan is moving forward is uh, there's a website called deckscreener.com and they have an API that you can use to you know pull price data. So I've already got some, some code written up that's kind of trying to pull all the DFK token data um, and not necessarily draw charts, but maybe draw at least, you know, lay out, here's what all the items value are. A stamp pot would cost you X dollars to build versus X dollars to buy. And I think, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll start to put some of that information together for you guys so that it's a little easier, you know, kind of a, a bit of a one-stop shop, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, yeah and I, I'm looking forward to my secret request. I got to plug it, too. Um, I want to really see the, uh, the, the chances of uh, R1 um, by percentage when you're matching two heroes together. I think that's something ah. that is is going to be i i think that would be really valuable and, and as far as i know no one else is doing that right now so uh, i think that'd be pretty neat yeah that's that's true yeah that would be maybe we'll have to maybe we'll see if we can't pull in mr zipper and get some discussions and maybe pull him in on another pod here in the future i'm sure he'd love to talk about that yeah yeah definitely all right um what do we got left on the agenda to go through? Um, let's talk dev dive here. Um, we're coming up. We're May 11th today, um, and I believe it was June 1st. We've set as our date when we're going to be switching over to the new payment system, um, and so we wanted to just uh, you know remind our, our listeners out there we switched off our old payment system in March, um, and just wanted to make sure that we we. We were rewarding our, you know, existing uh, customers out there that I'll call you. Uh, those of you who have paid to to utilize some of that um, premium content over on the ADFK app. Um, so we are going to be switching on our payment system here June 1st. Um, we have a YouTube video that explains how to go through that payment system. Um, any other comments that, you know, you want to talk about there? Yeah, so yeah, basically it's like you said, anybody who had either subscribed on Anchor and gotten an invite code or had, you know, sent Jewel to one of us, you know, through the website's address and gotten an invite code that way. Yeah, the the free the, that free time is like you said, it's set to run out on June 1st. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think, you know, I, I think another thing that's worth mentioning and uh, you know, I, I guess we didn't necessarily make it clear in the video, so I'll just, you know, say it now. One listener, uh, subscriber rather, 
had uh, sent Jewel to the website's address on the Crystal Vale chain. And I was like, oh, oh. I never thought about that. Uh, so, yeah, I went over to the, the site, uh, <laughs> loaded up. The, there it was. And sure enough, there was the three Jewel. I was like, wow, yeah, I'll uh, credit you for that time. I, it's like I didn't even think that that, you know, that didn't even cross my mind, I guess. But, yeah, yeah so we're. <laughs> That's a good comment. So, Currently, it's only on Serendale if you send the site on Har- on the Harmony blockchain. Um, otherwise, it, again, if it's if it's sent to the wrong one, just shoot me a, a Discord message. We'll get you fixed up. Yeah, and on on the uh, the website, we have a a nifty feature that will always be live at the time of submitting payment and subscribing, and that's our conversion of. Uh, jewel to months of subscription and we are going to make that a bit dynamic to reflect uh, whatever's going on in the market Um, and we wanted to be transparent about that so you know folks out there don't feel like they're getting rugged but um, you know when we looked at uh, some of our initial calculations you know I think we were thinking about you know 12 jewel would get you 12 months of a subscription well, that doesn't really cover the website costs at the current price of Jewel. Um, so we're going to be looking to make, um, obviously, some some comparable changes. Um, and, but, of course, we will always honor whatever that, that purchase price is at the time of the Jewel transfer. Um, so you yeah, get that, that many months right. um, for at, at the time that, you know, you hit that submit button. So uh, nothing's going to, you know, change under your feet, so to speak. No, yeah, it was kind of funny. We we were chatting about that kind of at the same moment that in the AMA, Frisky's talking about how you know they're actually to pay their employees. The jewel doesn't go as far as it used to, and I just, I had to kind of chuckle a little bit. I was like, yeah, I I totally get that, you know, like uh, so there. It's a real it's a real issue for the team when they've got that many employees, if you will, that they've got to pay in jewel. Like, right, if your jewel doesn't even go a dollar, like you're burning a lot of jewel really quickly <laughs> you sure are yeah um yeah we have uh king ed asking is there a lifetime subscription uh, right now i think uh you know the offers out there if, if you want to throw us a land um <laughs> we'll we'll honor that as a well, lifetime subscription well you know hey define define a lifetime right because if you plug that formula in i think if you put like if you put like 30 jewel into that and send it right now you're going to be out like decades because it's yeah. an exponential formula yeah. so honestly lifetime's not very difficult with our current rate right so just, you know, we have not done we have not done our price increase so uh, you know some secret alpha for those of those 15 viewers um right now uh go ahead and and lock yourself in some for some insanely good rates <laughs> there you go yeah all right, well, um, let's go to some of the, the, the buy and the dip. So I I sprung for some Gen Zeros uh, here recently, and I'm trying to get you to, to join the club again. So um, a refresher for, for our listeners out there, um, you know, we, we went in on our first Gen Zero together Gosh, when when did we buy? It was sometime like the October time frame. I want to say, yeah, late October, mid-October. Yeah. And at that point in time, you know, none of us could afford actually, you know, swinging or were willing to risk, uh, you know, swinging for the full purchase price of a Gen Zero at that point in time. Um, and then we ended up going in on a second one. And uh, we we did sell them, you know, recently. It was about a, a month and a half ago now. And uh, when back when Jewel was around ten dollars, so you know I I've been itching to get back into the Gen Zero game ever since. Um, so I, I've been watching using the alert system, which does an excellent job at removing Jewel from my wallet. Um, and I've been watching uh, Mythic Peers as uh, you know trying to look at what are the opportunities to still earn in summoning out there you know something that has for those of you who have been in the game for a while as populations have increased to the total number of heroes um you know summoning is not as profitable as it once was used to be you know making bank every single time you summon no matter what and now um 
unless you have two Gen Zeros, you may not break even if you get common Steve the Pirates. Um, and so, you know, I, I, we've been looking at what are some of the summoning opportunities out there. Maybe Dindorf, before I, I do kind of a, a hero reveal, what are you, what's on your mind when you're thinking about summoning with Gen Zeros and you have not pulled the trigger yet? So, you know, maybe a counterpoint to uh, what's what's holding you back at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I I had like you know we talked about earlier. I had taken some profits, you know, out and I, you know, as you do as you need to with an investment, right? Uh, but then I actually, you know, when you remove, you know, pretty much all your garden fund, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep. I'm already in the black. I'm gonna keep it in. Let's keep it rolling. So I, I've remained fairly heavy gardens. So I've got some, you know, a lot of my garden money that's in there is still, I'd say bought and paid for with more or less $7 jewel. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. kind of like, yeah, it, at these prices, I don't really want to liquidate, uh, and, and go for that gen zero. I have, I have the, I could do it with the jewel that I have, except for the fact that, like I said, you know, I got to think of how much did that jewel cost me? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, me personally, it, I I kind of need to wait for more along the lines of the boring time, right? When yeah. the jewel cost is actually down, and or in terms of the Gen Zero price, or the jewel value in U.S. dollars has gone up. So my calculus is is kind of a little inverted from yours. Yeah, and I also with that, I mean, you're speculating as well that you expect uh, jewel to increase at a ratio that's greater than the ultimately the dollar value of of a gen zero as well right with that calculation yeah i think that would make sense yeah and i think I, that's reasonable too i think you know i think we could very easily see again not financial advice here but we could see a 5x a jewel i think it could get back to five dollars um you know who, who knows what's going to happen this fall i think i'm a little more uh rosy glasses than most but um i don't think five five dollars a jewel is is out of the question in the future i do think you know probably if you're looking at the floor right now i don't know it might be pushing it to get a gen zero at at, you know five times the value now it certainly has been at 30 grand before uh 25 30 grand before but i i don't know if we're gonna see that again i think it might double or triple but yeah i I think that's that's a good point yeah oh i just got a sort of a side side comment here uh I just got an email from the website saying that an unregistered wallet sent me 30 jewels. So one of our (laughs) listeners totally took the advice. So hit me up on Discord, whoever you are. Uh, We'll get you Uh, fixed up. But it it looks like the wallet. King King Ed in in YouTube just just cashed that in. So uh, genius. Uh, He's got the the alpha play of the day right there. So That's pretty funny. I I love it. That's awesome. (laughs) Well played. Well played. That's awesome. All right. Um, so yeah, as, you know, as as we're looking at at Gen Zeros now, I've I've pulled up on screen. So I'm looking at the the Gen Zero Tavern um, filter. I I will say, trying to look up Gen Zeros on the mobile app has been a total disaster, a dumpster fire. Dare no I doubt. Say. Uh, that slider is just not working. Um, but yeah, with right now, so looking at the uh, the current floor, we have a a warrior, uh, level six, who has not had his summons reset yet, uh, with either the the gene reroll or the visual gene reroll at forty nine hundred, and the price of jewel is what right now? I can do a refresh. We're sitting at seventy cents. 70 cents all right so i mean we have not seen gen zero hero prices this low in a long time and you know i've i've been very skeptical on the value of gen zeros because of the how how summoning has plummeted in its own respective value but i do believe that the team is going to value gen zeros in a way that supports gameplay in the future just like there was the uh, perilous journey and, you know, having a, a Gen Zero would shield or, you know, give you a, a boosted survival effect. I think there are going to be other boosts like that in the future. Now, would those boosts be worth $20,000 of a Gen Zero cost? And, you know, my bet was no. 
um, candidly, and that's that's why we sold. But now that Gen Zeros are are down at this price, I think the you know I think there's value in the floor, and I also think there's value in trying to find a a pure Gen Zero out there. And, and just a quick refresher: a pure means a dominant and first recessive um, are the same. So I don't. What I found is I had you know the the alert set for for pure and i ended up actually not intentionally this was not like what i was thinking i would do going into it but i ended up getting two pure warrior gen zeros so um we will see how things turn out i will start summoning them together to try to go after a pure dr1 gen 1 10 of 10 summons warrior and i'm hoping that i will net somewhere between 70 and 120 jewel per hero um as i'm as i'm uh, you know producing those and i think i'm gonna have if my calculations are correct and this is where we got to get mr zipper involved i think i'm gonna have approximately an 80 percent chance with these two heroes of getting uh, you know dr1 to to match and, and be pure so um you help me kind of uh, both push me over the edge on the second one um, and talk me through some of the, the logic here. So what what are your thoughts or, or comments on, on the recent play? Yeah, I think that's good. I, I mean, I, I totally love it. I, I do feel like I will get back into the Gen Zero game, no doubt. I mean, I, you know, like we said, we've been fortunate. We got in real early. We've, we've taken profits out, and yeah, we still have, you know, pretty good either hero hold or, you know, jewel bag or gardens. I feel confident I will get back into it. Um, I just, like I said, I I need jewel price to recover a little bit to make in the kind of the hopes that if the overall value uh, or jewel cost rather of the hero drops, like for me, you know, if if, if those hero prices fall to like the low fours or the upper threes, three thousands, I might be I might be pulling that trigger. Um, because that's kind of where I think the sweet spot is. I think if you can get below four thousand now, you're you're in, you're in that good sweet spot. Um, but if there's anybody new to the game, like you're saying, who doesn't have jewel and has either like dollars, if you will, um, now is a fantastic time to convert into jewel to purchase. Uh, I just like I said, my my market timing, my crystal ball was a little cracked on this one. So you know, we'll we'll, we'll get there. No worries. Yeah. Here we have a I. I'm not sure this guy has been used. Uh, he's a level two warrior. He had to have been rerolled. He's only at four summons. Um, there is no like reroll indicator right now. Um, but he's level two as well. I mean, maybe there's a secret off chance that he wasn't rerolled. You still have I think until June tenth. Uh, to do the re-roll i don't know someone's got to look into this guy so if um I, the only way that i know you can currently see is if you go to the the api a- the third API. party api and you can okay. paste in the hero number but it, again it's kind of writing code a little bit yeah and you know you can get it that way um otherwise yeah it's really difficult right now maybe see this is where it's possible to add a feature to the site, but it's I you know it's hard to I, I'm not sure I'll be able to turn that around real quick here, um, but I think that's something to consider. And you know you could always ping one of us, mm-hmm. or yeah, if you guys you know ping the Discord chat if someone's got a question about one, and I can go look that up or at least tell you guys how. Um, if you're not familiar with the API, the the GraphQL API that the dev team put out for us developers, so yeah, reach out to us if you want to know for sure. Um, and we can kind of maybe have some of that, post some of that in the Discord. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and punch in. Um, here is an example of a, a pure guy out there, a, a thief wizard. And remember, his uh, DR1 is pure, so he's a thief thief. And um, he has rerolled. So, you know, whatever he's currently at now for his reroll. Oh, maybe he's not then. Let me double check that. Did someone Oh, no. Okay, so he did reroll. 
and someone got lucky and got Thief Thief. Okay, so let me jump over and switch my screen over to the the website here. So I, I punched in and uh, nine dollar for your because I know you can't see my screen. Uh, Fourteen twenty seven is the hero number. Um, he's at zero summons right now, so I think by all accounts he's probably re rolled. Uh, class is Thief Thief, and he's oh yeah he had to have because uh, his subclass is Wizard then Seer as the first recessive. Oh yeah, um, there it is. So he definitely re rolled. Um, so kudos to this guy for re rolling correctly. He might not. Does this person know? I don't know. Um, <laughs> foraging is the first profession, and mining is the second profession. Um, so wow. a, a nice, you know, if you're going after trying to get Dark Knights, um, this is this is probably my hero of the day that I would I'd recommend. You know, our listeners out there go go check out. Um, I think that's that's pretty neat. So yeah, seven thousand cool. jewel. I mean, you're looking at, at what seventy cents. I don't know my math's not very good right now with this amount of <laughs> vodka and water. But uh, <laughs> you know what, fifty seven hundred. I don't know something like that. Um, so I I think that's uh, I think that's a good buy out there. Level six, not bad. He's about ready to level up to level seven as well. So I like it. Yeah. All right, so that's been kind of our our strategy, and you know, I, I would say we're both fairly bullish on the game at the moment. Yeah, no, um, no doubt. Yeah, it, and it's one of those things where you know you can be. It's like yeah, the market is obviously one thing, but you know, I still want to play the game. I still, I'm still interested in this. I love what they're building. I can't wait to read the lore, see the paths, and all of the above. So, you know, we'll. We just got to stay tuned and, you know, hang in there as best we can or, you know, dollar cost average in like you've been if you've been doing that. And um, and we'll, you know, we'll see on the other end. We'll, well, I think we'll all be happy with our decision. Not financial advice, of course, but I, that's my feeling, my gut feel. Yeah, mine, mine too as well. And, um, you know, I, I guess I'll throw this out there before we go. I have probably one more closing comment. Um, throw any questions, last minute questions you have out on YouTube. Um, and we'll, we'll try to get to those before we go. You know, one thing that I'll also say when you're thinking about possible reinvestment, we've been watching the, um, the lock tool market and there's been a, a, a deal or two, but there, and I don't know if it's just lagging behind and everyone's so shell shocked because it's happened so fast, but the, the lock tool market has kind of just looked like garbage, I guess. Um, nothing that makes me want to move. Yeah, I agree. It hasn't been anything too fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, no, no new questions coming in yet. You know, maybe I'll I'll stall for another um, second here. Yeah. A, a big thank you to everyone um, coming out here tonight, supporting us. Yeah. If if you would uh, hit the like button, subscribe. You know, uh, tell your friends and family to subscribe. We're trying to get to that that 300 mark where we can do an egg giveaway. So that'll be awesome. Oh, uh, we have a good question, Sergeant Filthy McNasty. Uh, love the name. <laughs> have you tried yes. DFK Arena? And uh, why won't you go back? So maybe he knows that you've already tried DFK Arena, or have you? Well, tried? I, I didn't actually try it. I, I did. I did log in right away when the the beta came out, and I'm not sure if. You know, I've not watched a lot of them, but it, it you know, it was very interesting to see. It, it seemed to me that there were people who immediately, like, oh, I see the rules of this game. I have a level nine super, ba- you know, badass hero that uh, I'm not going to actually level up to ten. I'm just going to launch a bunch of, uh, you know, duels here on the arena, and basically anybody who accepts this challenge, I'm going to win, and that's going to be five jewel in my pocket. And it, it kind of felt like, because they have it kind of level bucketized, if you will. Okay. And so basically, if you were at the top tier of that level and you had a good hero that had the good level ups, you were. It was really hard for you to lose in some regards. It seemed. And I heard uh, and again, that I there was some glitches where the cooldown. They were supposed to have a, a cooldown built in for heroes to be four hours, where you could not re battle. Um, until four uh-huh. hours, and I I heard that that was glitching out for a while. Um, 
and allowing essentially all heroes to rebattle, and then therefore like these legendary dragoons were just slaying everyone. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And that's kind of the stuff that I'd heard about too. There's been a lot, like, some good chatter in our uh, our Discord about people who've tried it, you know, with some mixed results. So I, I'm sure that they'll they'll iterate. And, you know, they'll make they'll make improvements to the to the game. You know, the the DFK Arena sub game. Um, and we'll you know we'll we'll keep you guys informed as we learn more. But right now, yeah, right now I don't I'm not super interested in testing that. It, it seems like it's uh, you know. Uh, a little unbalanced and i think that's something that you'll see from maybe a community project on mm-hmm. um, what i kind of expect you'll see from the actual duels in the game you'll see a much more well-rounded balanced product i, I agree with that ahead of time and it's going to be it's going to be one of those things like we've talked about you know we're antsy to to kind of read you know provide those a you know, little bit of insights into you know here's what here's what's winning here's what's losing here's here's where people are headed so Absolutely. Yeah. I, I can't wait for this sort of thing to actually be in the real game. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think initially I just haven't tried it out yet because I've been so busy just focusing on other things. So, um, you know, I, I definitely am kind of getting, uh, you know, my feedback from the, the Discord channel out there. So thank you. Thank you all for that. And, um, yeah, I, I still am looking forward to, I you know, I, I hope all the best for them. I, I think this is really neat that, and I, I, I believe I was listening to Sandwich Punch's podcast. Um, it sounds like these guys really put a lot on the line to develop this as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative of that. And I think it, I, I hope, I hope it works out for them. I, I really do. Cause I think this could be really neat in the future. As you guys know, I'm really pulling for, uh, Oregon Trail, DFK style. Um, as soon as that comes out, I will trade in, uh, you know, all of my assets for that. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, just kidding. Um, I am looking forward to it, but not that much. So, um, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of other opportunities out there. Um, and we'll see what the community develops. That's right. Yeah. And I mean, with that in mind, you know, everybody keep keep in mind the uh, the grant page, the build kingdom page. Yeah, you may or may not in the near future here see a, an entry from uh, Adventures in DeFi Kingdoms to help to help us continue on and continue to add more features uh, and to help support you guys as our, our subscribers and listeners. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sergeant Filthy Big Nest D just asked, any idea how much influence community would have on a grant approval project? Um, I was reading through it this afternoon, and I think it's a oh, and uh, Seahawk is asking if Oregon Trail is coming out. And no, I'm speculating recklessly. Sorry. I, I should have oh, referenced that. Hey, uh, sorry, sorry to get your hopes up. I Someone yeah. needs a grant for that. Someone yeah. sign up for an Oregon Trail DFK grant. Yeah, in, sure in case uh, your spirits Aspire. weren't dashed enough by the markets, I, I went ahead and you know ruined your day twice, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I believe it's a, a I want to say two-thirds community vote. I need to do a little more due diligence here um but i i think a, a project would require two-thirds of the community to vote of the voters to vote for it in order for it to go forward that's my rough understanding yeah and and i know that you know it sounded like i i guess i need to reread it again too because there was some interplay between this voting system provided by the the dfk team themselves like some sort of rubric where they would score it yes uh, and then that's the right that's community right, that's involvement right. I, i'm not 100 percent sure on the interplay there yet either so i think maybe you know we can do a little research and maybe next time we can provide you guys with a little better feedback and maybe by then we'll have maybe applied for our own and we can kind of speak to what what our experiences have been too yeah yeah all right well um Thanks for listening. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, it. Certainly keeps us going, and you know, hang in there. Um, take care of yourself, and spend some time outside. Spend some time doing the things you love, and you know, I, I like you, like you said, I, you know, I'm ending today on a positive note. I really do believe in this this game long term, and I think we may look back at this and say, "Wow, what an opportunity!" Of course, this is not financial advice. Um, you know, only only gamble what you can afford to gamble. 
Um, it, that's if anything's become a cold hard reality with the last you know week or what really month. It's that you know crypto crypto is very volatile, but I we believe in the project. That's for sure. Yep, no doubt. All right. Well, uh, thanks for joining us on YouTube, and thanks for listening. If you're on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or Apple Podcasts, and uh, or Anchor, have a great night and take care. All right.